All right, let's carry on with the first experiment for the second year Da Vinci experience. So we've made our breadboard, and now we're going to put on a very, very interesting IC. This is called the CD4046 Phase Locked Loop. It's got lots of lovely bits inside, and what we're going to do is look at different parts at one at a time. And then later on, in a later experiment, we'll put them all together. So first of all, we're going to look at the voltage control oscillator. So here we go. It is shown here um, where we just got our input and output of the breadboard and we got the IC in the middle. And we just need to put a few components around, just a very few, just to get it to work. So the voltage control oscillator needs a capacitor and a resistor, that's all. And uh, then we need to control the oscillator, so we just need to give it a DC voltage. Let's do it. So we take a 10 nanofarad capacitor and we put it between pins 6 and 7. There you are. This is actually a 16 pin IC. Just nice. Now we take a 100k resistor. And we're going to put that from pin 11 over to 0 volts. So I'll put 0 volts as the lower line above here. Then we need to set up our DC voltage. So we're going to use our 1 meg ohm trimmer. And yours may look different from the one I've got on here. And then we're just going to put one side is going to be 0. And the other side is going to be plus 9. So do that. Boom. So that means then when we adjust this pot, the wiper is going to go from 0 up to 9. And where's it going to go? That's going to go to our control voltage input, which is pin 9. So we can do that. So that's the center pin of this potentiometer is going to go to pin 9, that corner over there. That's great. Now, if I do, if I switch on now, um, not much going to happen because we have not done anything with the inhibit input. So we need to make sure that the inhibit is not inhibiting so it's pin 5 and we'll just take that to a logic input now the logic input has to be from the switch on top so we're just going to be plugging into there and the switch we've actually set low because i want to have a zero on the inhibit we do not want it to inhibit so all well and good and we just now need to see the output well we can just take the output of the oscillator which is on pin 4 and we're just going to connect it to one of the LEDs on our display here so A is suggested so we just go to A just on that lovely now we could just switch on now and a segment lights up so it looks to you as though Oh, well, it's just on all the time. But actually, it's a lot more than that. We need to actually hear what it is because I've actually got this going at audio frequency. So we need to have a little bit of help to know what's happening. We'll use a loudspeaker. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect the loudspeaker via the Darlington transistor driver here. So it means that it can be reasonably loud for us without hurting this IC, which is not strong enough to power the loudspeaker. So we go to the A output here. We just go to a spare column. And then we connect our loudspeaker to that spare column. And then we connect to the plus nine. There you are, a lusty sound and we can adjust our variable resistor goes right down to here right down to really du -du 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 -du. pretty well down to dc up to certainly higher than i can sing there you are that is therefore just a nice quick circuit. Now what we can do is just the last little bit of the sheet here is just saying why not put a 
10 microfarad capacitor onto the control input. Well, that sounds like fun. So let's do that. 10 microfarad capacitor. When I touch it, it goes a bit hummy because it's very sensitive. And that's going to go now to our zero line over here. Oh, that's interesting. So it, while the capacitor is charging up, it really affected the sound. So if I change the voltage, it's really a long delay. Because what's happening now is that the high resistance of the variable resistor is meaning that it takes quite a long time to charge and discharge that capacitor. That's quite useful. Next week we'll make a siren using this.